So when I think back to when I first was working in SaaS sales in the contact center space, I had no experience in the contact center space. I had no background, no network, no, no knowledge of marketing or sales. And one of the first things we decided to do was launch a live stream every week on a Thursday where I'd interview influencers and leaders from the industry. And I got to pick their brains on amazing subjects. And to this day, I still speak to so many of that amazing network that I built doing that. The, the champions that, that loved the live streams, the people that appeared on them, the people I was introduced to as a result of it. It's a fast track way to create a network. In a purposeful, focused network, I think, is the important part. It's intentional because it has to be. Otherwise, why have you got those people on the show? And I think that's the bit that a lot of people miss is those hidden benefits. You can't write them on a sheet and go, oh, hey, we hit our KPIs this month for the podcast. It doesn't work that way ever. No. Definitely not. Think about this, right? If anybody, any business owner out there that has a podcast that goes to conferences, right? And let's say there's a specific potential client you want to work with or do business with. Why not introduce yourself? Not as like the service-based business that you want to inevitably sell them, but just to open a relationship. And what better icebreaker than being like, hey, I think your story is very interesting. I'd love to hear more about it on my podcast. Oh, you have a podcast? Oh, fantastic. Let's do it. And at, every, at the end of every podcast episode, my guest will always ask me when we're off air, tell me about your business. I don't know much about you. What do you guys do? Oh, now that you ask, go well, let me tell you, right? So it, it, it opens up that kind of conversation because it's like anything. You're leading with value, not the sale, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Couldn't agree. 